Hello, welcome to my channel. My name's Louise. I live in a household with my 21 year old son and my two dogs. I do have a 25 year old daughter, but she doesn't live with us. I do hauls every Saturday. Uh, if you enjoy hauls and you enjoy this one, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> um, please comment. I really, really enjoy comments. I'm really lucky I've got some really nice subscribers and we have some nice little conversations. And click the notification bell so you don't miss my hauls. So I always update at the beginning, the shop was fine, it's so hot today, it's 31 already, it's supposed to be getting to 37 today and we are just over 27 in this room right now, so it's a little bit warm and there's no breeze going on out there, so I was expecting people to be a little bit aggy but people are fine, in, Asda, in my Asda today anyway, uh, they've taken, it's just like a normal shop now, apart from your little cleaning station just as you go in. Everything else, everyone's wearing the masks, it's all fine. So yeah, let's get on with the haul. If you're a regular here, you will know I always buy the Webox because my dogs love them. They're getting through a whole one of those a day now, so it's getting more expensive. They're only small dogs and they used to just get through half for a meal. Yep, they've doubled the price for me, but they're eating good. Whilst they're eating it, I'm gonna keep buying it. <laughs> okay, so this is the only fresh I've got. And I've got a lot of fresh still going on. I've got lettuce and um, onions, peppers, potatoes. So I've still got a lot of fresh stuff. The tomatoes is the only one that I really needed. These are the staples. Always get a chunk of cheese. I don't particularly use it much, but it does get eaten. The butter is mine. And I've got, what do they call this, plastic cheese? I'm planning on having burgers this week. So haven't got any of these left. Now chicken, I've got two meals I'm going for this week. I don't usually meal plan, so this is really weird. I went in this whole uh, rabbit hole on YouTube yesterday, uh, slow cooker meals. I do have a packet about this size already in the freezer. I'm going to do a Mexican slow cooker meal and a chicken stew and dumplings. I already have dumpling mix, bought that before lockdown. And I have all the ingredients for everything. That's why I come across those two recipes, I think. Bacon, it was written on the list. I'm guessing Corey probably wants bacon sandwiches. That's usually why he would put that on the list. And the milk, always get six pint of the semi-skim milk because we get through that amount in a week. Okay, so we're at completely out of juice. If nobody has tried this one, well, if, if there's anybody that shops in Asda and you've not tried the cherries and berries, you really should. That is, in my opinion, that is the absolute best one in the store. I always get uh, a red type juice, an orange type juice, just to break things up. The orange and pineapple is really good. They do an orange and mango, they're really good as well. And both of these are double concentrate and they're only a pound, so they're really, really good value for money. I got these this week. Uh, Corey always has, if you're hip, a regular again, you'll know Corey always has his pizza, chicken things, and chips. He likes southern fried, they didn't have anything southern fried. So he gets what he's given, uh, yeah, £2.38 nuggets, good price again. He always gets french fries, always get the 82p pepperoni pizza. And I was thinking of, I've got burgers in the freezer I've had in there for a while, so I was thinking burgers with onion rings, possibly. This is new, well it's not new, I've never had it before. Lemon and lime slices, I think I saw it on a haul, somebody bought lemon slices. I go through phases where I like lemon water, which I would clearly have to get the fresh stuff, but I'm not on that phase at the moment. Does anyone else have that? Go through phases of just a specific thing for a while and then you don't have it for ages. I will go back to it, I'm just not into it right now, but that will come in handy for something, I'm sure. And I was gonna get a selection of ice creams because it's hot out there, but there wasn't a selection to go with. And this one was a pound and there was only two of these left. I did, didn't take the last one, someone else can have that. Like I mentioned, Mexicans. If we're having Mexican, you've got to have salsa. Corey likes sour cream and chive. I picked it out up just, I don't know if he's gonna have it or not, but it's there. Yeast extract, if anybody doesn't know what this is, it's basically Marmite, it's the cheap version. I prefer it, one is cheaper, which is always a bonus, but it's also like a thicker consistency and it's slightly stronger. So I prefer that one normally, this could last me like six months or something. I'm sure I only bought the last one. I feel like I bought it only a couple of months ago. I've clearly eaten a lot of it. I'm the only one who really eats it. 
jam. I bought a jam the other week and it went mouldy. Oh, we're not focusing. It went mouldy. So I'm going to have to start keeping that in the fridge, which I don't like doing. Just because I like warm. <laughs> pickle. Now I've been holding out for pickle now for weeks. I like the Asda's Cheap Cheap Pickle. So Asda do three levels of food. They have their cheap cheap version, middle version, and then their posh version. This is the mi middle version. I like the cheap one because it's got a lot of juice. This, I don't, I think this is going to be quite thick. But they still haven't had it and they haven't had it for weeks. So we'll give it a go. Olives hadn't have olives for ages. Love the black ones. Again, Mexican. Guacamole for the Mexican. Garlic mayo, Corey's new favourite because <laughs> they still got no barbecue sauce and they haven't had for weeks and weeks. When they do, I will get a supply of it, but they still haven't got it. So he'll like make do with that. Sour cream Mexican. Mayo is a standard, always get it. Corey eats it and everything. I do say Corey a lot. If I don't say Corey, it means it's for me as well. The fajita sauce. I don't really know how I'm making the Mexican, but I've just got a selection of things. I do have powders as well. It will be one or the other. The cheap tomatoes. Now these ones are really good for cooking. If you are going to eat like the tomatoes on toast or you're just going to eat the tomatoes themselves, not put it in a sauce or make it with something else, I would advise getting the next one up in that because it's the sauce is thicker and the tomatoes are just more substantial. Just in case you don't, you've never tried that one. There you go, tip for you. Beans, I used to get again, I used to get the cheap, cheap version of that. But I think it was Blossom who gets these ones and recommended them. And they are less juices in them and more beans. For a couple, I think it's only a couple of pennies more, well worth it. Peaches in syrup, don't like getting the ones in syrup. But the ones that weren't in syrup were way, way more expensive. And this is going to be, I'm going to do a slow cooker dessert. I may record them. Who knows? Pure orange juice, been after it for ages. Really wanted pineapple juice as well, but they didn't have any. I've got a couple of, I don't actually ever buy these normally. I've got the chocolate sponge mix. So this one was a pound. And I've got two of the vanilla ones. They're 27p each. For the slow cooker dessert, it's going to be, I think it's called a cobbler when you put the cake mix in it. I've never made it before. Like I said, it went down the whole slow cooker rabbit hole. We'll see how that one comes out. I really want, I, I, I've been eating white bread with Corey. Corey has this one. I've been eating that just because I didn't want to keep buying extra bread and him not eating his. But I really do miss having like a brown bread. This one, I, I just, I don't know. I just saw and it oh, and it's got this, it's not really soft, it's dry, which I think rye bread's supposed to be. It just appealed to me on the shelf and it's £1.30 which for me is really expensive because I'm a cheapskate. Yeah, I hope that's really good otherwise I wouldn't be buying that one again. Uh, two packets of biscuits, I got the chocolate covered digestives and rich tea. I didn't get any chocolate for myself this week. I may have a couple of biscuits, I'm going to try and wean myself off chocolate completely just because I'm a little bit bored of it. White chocolate I got for Corey. He didn't come with me, so he gets what he's given, and that was the best price. Tortilla chips, the cool ones and the cheesy ones. And I got the wraps for the Mexican, because I don't really know what we're going to have. We've got the option of having whatever we want. Always get a Dr Pepper for Corey, because it's a really good price in Asda. If you've been here before, you'll know Asda put their prices up quite a bit on the Dr Pepper, but they're back to 150s. So as long as they stick there, we will carry on buying it. The bottle is 500 mils for £1.50. This is right next to it. 550 mils for 87p. If you've got a bottle, which I will be filling this one up with the liquid, that is really cheap. And it's Dettol, which is a make, brand, whatever. Yeah, I thought that was a really good bargain. It didn't look like it was a reduced price one either. But I did notice when I was coming into the store, they had larger packets of this, like the, the re fillable ones and I think it was like a 1.2 litre for three pounds. It's well worth going and finding those and getting two of them, you're still saving money. Pens, always run out of pens in the house. I usually buy the Bix and they're quite expensive so I don't know why, well no I do know why I buy it. I like buying the Bix because the roller ball on it works really well and you know if you use pens a lot there's a difference in pens, <laughs> I'd say any differently.
<laughs> but I saw these and these are 45p so I thought for that price we'll give them a go and if they're bad I just won't buy them again and cooking things I have a recipe that I'm going to make at some point in not near future because it's not something I want anytime soon but when I was wanting it I could not find one of these anywhere I picked up when I saw it and the cutters just to have them in the house I do do recipes occasionally and it's just nice to have the option this was reduced as well it was only a pound that was my haul hope you enjoyed it that's another week done I will be uploading on Wednesday I know I didn't last Wednesday but my fibro has been it was quite bad this week I have better day more better days than bad days so it's just one of those things I'm feeling a lot better now so yeah there will be something on Wednesday there will be a haul next Saturday as usual gonna get all this freezer stuff put away because it's really really warm hope you're all doing really good enjoying this weather and you're, if you're in the UK hope the weather's good if you're not and I will see you in the next one bye